Hey guys, today we're going to check out the brand new Eve Weather with Thread. Let's jump into the video. I want to thank Eve for sending this out to me for a full honest review, but that's not going to sway my opinion in one way or another. If I don't like something, i definitely going to let you know. So this is a Nether Thread device from Eve. I think this is their fourth or fifth device, and I'm sure they're going to be having more very, very shortly. Now when it comes to Thread, I just want to quickly talk about this. I think it's a, definitely a huge huge improvement over Bluetooth. You have better connectivity, better reliability, and it's definitely the future of HomeKit. The one thing to remember is if you want to use Thread, you have to have a HomePod Mini for HomeKit. It doesn't work with anything else right now, so if you don't have a HomePod Mini, unfortunately this still will only work on Bluetooth. Now this new Eve Weather is a remake of the previous model, which they called the Eve Degree. And ideally it's pretty much the exact same size, but does have a larger screen. And now with a larger screen, they can actually show you the temperature, humidity, and forecast all on one screen, and you don't have to toggle through different screens. So if you happen to put this outside a window and you're just looking at it from the inside house, you can see all the information from a glance. Now the Eve Weather actually has three sensors. It has a temperature sensor, humidity sensor, and a barometric pressure sensor. And with all these three sensors, it actually gives you upcoming forecasts. Now it's not going to go to the web and pull any forecasts. It's actually going to use these three sensors to predict the weather. Now in my testing, this is is more of actual weather currently or maybe in the next 30 minutes so you're not going to see what's going to be later it's the current weather approximately 30 to 60 minutes out now this is designed to be outside it has a water resistance rating of ipx3 which is not very high but it's good enough to be out there in the rain and they do suggest this that you put this under some type of shade with direct sunlight not only have they said that it's going to interfere with the temperature reading but in my testing, I actually got a reading of about 123 degrees when it was only like 70 degrees outside for real. Now, obviously, if you want to, you can use this on the inside of the house. But Eve does have something called the Eve Room that does the exact same thing. It doesn't have thread, but it's definitely designed to be indoors, where this one is designed to be outdoors. On the back of the device, you do have a push button and two holes. The smaller one, the square or the rectangle shaped one is more for the sensors. And the bigger one is your hanger. So you can take a nail and hang this on to whatever you want to put this on. They do make some third party accessories for this. And one that I have is from Matthias Petrat or Petrit. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I think it looks better with the mount and it's definitely a little bit more secure. So if you have some high winds, you don't have to worry about the thing blowing off it does run on a battery they say it lasts about a year it's a user replaceable battery a CR2450 you can find in any grocery store I haven't had this long enough to test it out to see if it actually lasts a year but I'll definitely update my full pros and cons list so if you want to find out what my current battery life is like definitely check out my full pros and cons list down in the description now I do recommend that you actually use this in the Eve app even though you can have this in the home app and by adding it to the Eve app it's automatically going to come over to home but in the home app unfortunately you just get basic information you get the temperature and the humidity and that's pretty much it and you really can't automate in the home app off of those information just yet but if you go into the Eve app you can see all three sensors temperature humidity and the barometric pressure and then you can go into the history of each sensor you can see what it was like an hour ago a day ago a week ago a month ago and you can see all the measurements which it takes every 10 minutes so how can you use all this information well there's the every day we can ask Siri what the temperature is outside unfortunately unless you name the zone outside you have to say the actual zone like I have a backyard and a front so you have to say hey Siri what's the temperature in the backyard and she'll tell you what that is off the eve weather and then you can set up some simple automations like for instance if it gets hot outside and you know the attic is going to get a little bit hotter because it's hot outside you can turn on a fan automatically and cool down that area of course you can do it in reverse if it gets too cold maybe you could turn on a space heater 
with a smart plug and hopefully in the near future they allow you to automate a base of the forecast that's not available yet but I do hear that it might be coming which I can definitely see being very useful. I think overall this is a great product and definitely can be used in a lot of different uses. The only con that I have for this thing is the current price coming in at almost $70. Now I understand that it's a newer product and it definitely has thread which definitely adds some value but still at $70 I think this is a little bit too much. But if you have a use for it I definitely think you'll get your money's worth. Alright guys let's wrap this up. What do you guys think about the E? whether is it something that you would use in your house let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions feel free to hit me up on twitter my handle is modern day tech and i will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching smash that like button